homemade cat food is absolutely worth it if you value these four things. Most of you tell me you want the best and cheapest cat food, and well, that is homemade. Actually, let me step back. I'm not going to say cheapest because that word cheap just makes me think low quality. So instead, we're going to say best and most cost effective way to feed your cat. I've been raw feeding Jericho since 2018 and I started homemade one year later, but I didn't start seeing the true benefits until I introduced this one ingredient and that ties into benefit number three. Jericho's teeth are cleaner, he's much more satiated and I know that he's happier and I know that you want that for your cats too. That's exactly why you're here. Hey friends, it's Justin Jericho. It is a blessing that you are here, hallelujah. Yeah. Now I say that homemade cat food is worth it if you value these four things because homemade cat food is the best and most cost effective way to feed your cat, but it does require more time and effort and planning, at least more so up front once you get into the routine of things. But once you have a good routine going, you know what your cat likes, you have a variety of recipes that you can fall on, it becomes really easy and it becomes part of your routine and you do it without even thinking about it. But it does require more effort than popping open a can of food, plopping it on the plate, or just removing the frozen pack into the refrigerator and then dishing it out. So there are things to be mindful of before you do homemade food and that is just that you're learning a new skill and you are going to have to transition and work with your cat, especially if you're feeding raw meaty bones. But again, it is absolutely worth it. The first benefit that I absolutely love is that homemade raw meaty bones diets are species appropriate. So we do our best to pick apart pieces that cats would kind of eat in the wild, put them together and make a homemade raw meaty bones diet. So we're doing our best to match what our cats eat in the wild. High moisture, high protein, moderate fat, low carb, and lots of variety. And we incorporate raw meaty bones into the diet because cats in the wild, they get a lot of mental stimulation. They have to hunt, they have to chase, catch, kill, chomp and chew on their prey. That kind of completes the whole thing. Like when we, when we accomplished our goals, right? We plan, we act on it, we accomplish it, and we're like, yes, I did it. So that provides us with a lot of mental stimulation. It's the same for our cats. Since our cats indoors don't hunt, we can provide that mental stimulation to them with those raw meaty bones. And we can also offer chunks of meat. That way they're actually noshing and chewing on their food. Raw diets are high in moisture and quality proteins. These are easier to digest. This is what they are created and designed to eat. Yaw's intelligent design. Their bodies know exactly what to do with it. They can assimilate those nutrients and that can be much a big benefit for a cat who has sensitive stomach, you know, because the commercial food that we feed is loaded with plant ingredients, lots of artificial stuff, synthetic supplements. And our goal with a homemade raw meaty bones diet is to eliminate as much as possible stuff that none of us should be eating <laughs> and only feed our cat what they should be eating. The next benefit is that you have complete control over the ingredients, therefore you also have control over the quality and also control over the cost. Now, of course, you do have to follow a complete recipe, so you have to find a recipe that works for you and for your cat based on what's available to you, based on what your cat likes, based on what you, you can feed your cat. So it, uh, it might take some time to find a recipe. There are lots of free recipes online, but I've noticed that they're pretty much a, a different version of the same recipe, lots of supplements. It makes it kind of easy because you can get most of the ingredients at the store and then just order supplements online. But if you're looking for a variety and much more meat heavy ingredients versus supplements ingredients. I do have a membership where I release recipes every month and we do live topic and Q and A's once a month and group coaching once a month. So there's a link in the description if you would like to join that. But aside from that, looking for recipes, I would say make sure that there are a variety of muscle meats, muscular organs like heart, gizzard, tripe, those are all muscular organs, secreting organs, more than just liver, ideally you would have kidney and spleen as well because again, that's going to limit the number of supplements that you use and then some raw meaty bones as well that are appropriate for cats. Of course, we do still have to use supplements to complete nutritional gaps, but when you have a larger variety of proteins and different ingredients that you're using, you can definitely minimize the amount of supplements that you have to use. Benefit number three is raw meaty bones. Feeding raw meaty bones, giving your cat better teeth, 
more mental stimulation, and very interesting, it can actually prevent obesity. So the Frontiers of Veterinary Science sent out a survey among cat parents and they wanted to see where the relation is happening. Because according to the Association for Pet Obesity Prevention 2022 survey data, 60% of cats are overweight or obese, and 70% of pet parents believe that this is due to poor feeding practices. So clearly, we know that there's a link between food, how we feed our cats, and weight gain. Duh, <laughs> kind of makes sense. Food is, it's fuel for our bodies. If we're not putting the right fuel in our bodies, but it's not gonna run properly. So the frontiers of veterinary science found that when cat parents were feeding raw meaty bones, the cats took longer to complete and finish their meals. Therefore, the cat parent did not overfeed their cat. So of course, if we're feeding biologically appropriate food and a diet, you know, overfeeding is still a thing. If you give your cat too much food, he's going to gain weight regardless of what he eats. But at least with a homemade raw meaty bones diet, you don't need to feed as much. And when you feed the, the raw meaty bones, your cat's chewing and chomping on the food. Same with the muscle meats, you can leave those into larger chunks. The muscular organs like heart and gizzards, those are really, really great to chew through for your cat. So we're providing this mental stimulation and we are not tempted to overfeed our cats. And that mental stimulation also prevents boredom, which can also prevent obesity. So there are just so many benefits that go way beyond nutrition when you're feeding Romney bones. Now, in terms of nutrition, it provides the most natural source of calcium. There's phosphorus and that's what we use the cal to balance the calcium and phosphorus ratio is we use raw meaty bones. And raw meaty bones can also keep your cat's teeth clean because that is Yah's natural toothbrush for them. So again, there are just so many benefits when you're feeding raw meaty bones. Maybe you're already feeding raw and you're seeing these great benefits. We'll just think of even more benefits when you introduce raw meaty bones. Another benefit of a homemade raw meaty bones diet is that you save money. So not only are you saving money on your cat's actual food, but also on your cat's health. There are a lot of cats that are suffering today. Like I said before, more than 60% of the cats in the US are overweight or obese. And that alone right there puts the cat at a much higher risk for developing uh, so many other health issues. But other cats are also dealing with diabetes, kidney disease, urinary issues, urinary blockages. And this is because we're not feeding them an appropriate diet. You know, most commercial cat foods, especially dry food and a lot of wet foods are too high in carbohydrates. They're, they're too low in meat-based ingredients and they're just filled and stuffed with a lot of fillers and a lot of synthetic stuff. And, you know, raw is still really great, but again, we wanna provide those raw meaty bones because we want that mental stimulation. We want the teeth cleaning. And I mean, really the mental stimulation is the biggest because that also prevents boredom, also prevents obesity and can also prevent stress, behavior issues. So it's just all around better for your cat and also for you. Now you're probably wondering how to start on a homemade raw meaty bones diet. And I'm sure you've heard about 801010. Check out this video right over meow where I explain 801010 is a good place to start, but it is not where we want to end. Thanks for watching.